In this video we're going to continue looking at limits and we're going to look at the laws of limits. And here I've got two basic limits. The limit as x approaches f and k is equal to k. Because there's no x in it. And this one if x approaches a then x is eventually a so that's equal to a. And here's what other rules here and I'm not going to read them out because they're over long. But also, I just want to say that you know, one thing you can do with this first law is you can move out these pluses and you can get another law. That's also another law. And you've still got your plus from before, so in general it's the plus or the minus. And you can multiply like that. You can divide like that, but the limit as x approaches of g of x can't be zero because then this here is undefined, which you should already know from your from your algebra class. And this one here, so I've got this function raised to a power. That's the same as this limit raised to the power, and then has to be positive in this case. And it's the same for n root for roots. So I've got an n root and an n root here. And here's the rule. And n has to be even. And the limit of f of x of f of x has got to be bigger than zero. Because otherwise it's a complex number. Now, to do these examples, I'm going to have to rub all this out, so if you want to write this down, pause the video now and write down your laws. Right, so now let's look at what problems here. Now first of all I want to use the laws of limits. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of 3x to the 4 plus the limit of x approaches 2 of 2x squared plus Actually, minus the limit x approaches two of one. So we can calculate all these. comes out to be 53 when we do that. So another way is we could just substitute it straight in. We don't actually have to do that. We can just substitute 2 in and get this and find out that this is 53. So this limit here is equal to 53. Next one we can actually do the same idea but there's a theme that says if
Nu simt sa 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 Okay, so that's a little fever and that says what we can do in general so we don't have to actually go through all of those but the reason why I'm teaching it is because they're important and because that's how we'll come up with. Next example now then is going to be... Now we can use a bit of algebra on this. We can factorise the top. Let's just put a bracket on this thing at the bottom here as well, just to... And notice these cancel. So we'll have to have the limit of that, as x approaches 3, and that's going to be 2 plus 3, which is 5. So the limit of this is going to be equal to 5. So we can factorise the top and the bottom of these rational expressions and then substitute after we've simplified as much as possible to find the solution if the limit exists, because we'll see in the, maybe the next video or next few later videos that not all limits exist. So now we're going to do this one using the fume that I told you before. So we're just going to substitute 3 in here and see what we get. So we get 3 times 9 minus 21 plus 4. So that's going to be 27 minus 21 plus 4. That's going to be 6 plus 4, which is going to be 10. So the limit of this one here is going to be 10. And one more quick problem before we finish using these laws that I showed you before. We're given these. So that's free. We're told that that's free. So what we can do is we can calculate this. And basically what we can do is we can just square that. 3 squared is 9 using the law because remember that's equal to the limit when we know the limit we can just square the answer so that's using one of the laws we learned earlier and another one I want to quickly show you is this one we're given this and we can basically just take the cube root of 8 which is 2 so Those are what answers. And I just used the laws that were learned about before, which you should know how to do. So there's the problems and use the theorem to make problems a bit shorter, like this one, this one and this one.